right, good morning everyone. Welcome to Granny's Adventures. We are at Lake Kapuki today. And um, you can see the beautiful sunrise behind me. It's nice and early in the morning. Wanted to get here at the change of light and um, see if anything was biting. Um, already we've walked in, we've seen a massive swell. It, we honestly thought it looked like a kingfish. And um, we're waiting for a big bird um, to pop up like a swan or something. And it never did. So that got us really excited. And fingers crossed there may be some bigger fish in here today. Probably wasn't a trout, it was probably a big carp, grass carp, or I don't know, tench or something. Um, so we'll be throwing spinners today, we'll be throwing um, all sorts of different jigs to see what we can get biting. It could get a few perch as well. Um, I've heard they're good eating, so we may even keep one and, um, and give that a try. We'll see how we go. Um, we're going to probably move all around the lake and see what kind of spot works best. Um, and there's a bit of a there's a bit of a gust um, westerlies this morning, so we'll see how we go with the casting. But we've got some nice gear, and we're super stoked. I'm here with Greeny Senior. He's already put a few casts in, and um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Decided to pull the twig in, the twig, the tree. There you go, got it back. <laughs> Time for a new jacket. <laughs> and that almost concludes day one, guys. After thousands of casts and no action at all, we decided to split up and cover a bit more ground. Greeny Senior comes across what we think to be quite a nice sized tench based on its solid colours and different fin shapes that of a trout. And finally, as you can see, that is a cast into the quarry side of the lake and hooks up to what seems to be quite a nice sized rainbow. His filming skills aren't as good as his fishing skills, but I appreciate him for still getting it on camera. <laughs> guys absolute beautiful day look how calm it is I'm actually gonna do a quick walk around and see if I can see any patrolling the, the banks here it looks like we've got it all to ourselves there may be a fisherman over there I was wrong about the the, the boat traffic <laughs> there are a lot of rowers over there I'm just gonna leave them be they'll just run over my line to be honest anyway so I'd rather just have a few casts in here I think at this point maybe throughout the day it may die down. It is currently a weekday, so they may be going to work. And I've just seen something rise out in the middle there. So that looks promising. But anyway, let's get to it. Let's have a few casts. Just trying to think about where I'm going to position myself. I think I'm going to go over there. I've been told that's where they release the fish. So I'm going to go up high, have a few casts right out to the middle. Let it sink a little bit, retrieve it in, and um, let's not waste any more of this beautiful morning.
and I do really like the action of this one. It kind of sways in the water. Looks really, really similar to a, um, a fish tail. Oh, crap. I nearly hit the power lines then. Oh, no, I did. Uh-oh. Here you go guys, here's a nice blooper. <laughs> Didn't even see the power lines up there. <laughs> oh no. Oh well at least I got my leader back. superstitious guys but I'm going to take it that the, uh, the bust off in the power line was maybe a sign to, to switch, <laughs> switch lures so um, I decided to go for this little soft bait smelt looking thing I tried it last time didn't have much luck but I'd really love to give it a go this morning and see if the the white shiny pattern could have any success in the, in the darkness um, but anyway yeah, I'll have a few casts I'm going to stay well away from that power line this time who put that there <laughs> So it's um, 10.52 now, so I've spent all morning, haven't even had a bite yet. So this is the area I like the most, um, from what I've been told, I believe this is the area where they release the trout. I'm going to throw a few casts of the soft bait again, the smelt. I do really like the action of it, and as I said before, the perch did come up and follow it, so I'm hoping that maybe it'll attract all sorts of different species. I've got my float rod just over here behind me, it's got a little worm on it. I'm fishing about a metre, so not too deep. Um, I'm kind of looking to leave it in the shallows, just in case there's any predatory fish, you know, above on the surface. So I'm going to have heaps of casts, and then I'm just going to change my lures, and I'm probably going to spend the early afternoon in this spot here, just changing it up, uh, trying different different lures, different techniques, and yeah, see what happens. I'm on! I'm on for the girls. Finally, after all these hours. <laughs> and would you believe, after all that, it was on the worm on the float. Nice little rainbow. I am more than happy with that. I'll see you later, buddy. Yes. Oh, tell you what, I worked for that one, <laughs> and then some. Been out here since 7 a.m. It's about 11:30 now, so it's been a while. 
but I'm just glad I got one. That's all I wanted. I just wanted one today, just so I knew that I was doing the right thing and I knew that they were there and I knew that I was using the right equipment and and the right bait and the right setup. He swallowed the uh, the hook pretty far down, so I ended up just cutting the line. Couldn't find my disgorger in there, but I think it was too far down. I didn't want to let him bleed out. Obviously, it's probably too small to keep. Didn't measure it, but I can imagine so. I just looked up and my float was underwater. I was just over there setting up my new spinner and um, yeah, the float was right under. So I'm going to have to keep using that float and see if I get any more. Oh, oh yeah, just a little baby. Oh, <laughs> oh stay still, buddy. Here's a fighter, this one. Go another nice little rainbow and the little one. <laughs> so I've just made one of my probably one of my final casts. I've got a couple of really nice worms on there now. Next time we'll be back, we'll definitely bring our course fishing gear, I think. Longer rods, lighter gear, a lot easier. Um with, with the type of fishing that I was doing today would have been a lot easier. We caught three trout today and I'm honestly over the moon. I'm so stoked with that. I just wanted one. That's all I wanted and I got three so absolutely stoked. Well thanks for watching uh, today's episode guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. I'm gonna head back to the car now and dump my gear and I think I'm gonna uh, sit by the lake and enjoy the rest of the sun we have left. I've been trying to do a lot of filming at the same time as fishing. It is quite hard to juggle the boat at the same time, but hopefully I've got some good footage in there for you all. So I've got heaps more fishing videos on the way, so I really appreciate you subscribe and uh, keep up to date with me. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one.